good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Well. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You oh. think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Uh, thank you, Diddy, with a really good uh, tip here. Apparently, make sure to keep an eye out for colorful eggs. They'll let you know when there's a lunchbox nearby. Cool. So that stuff that we were looking at earlier, was that was that the stuff that indicates it's near? It was like, I, I thought they were beanies, to be honest. Like beanies and what are those? They're not dream catchers. There's another name for them, but. There's a phone booth out here? Nice. Okay. So looking at our map. Let's go up the other way. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. I want to swing by the general store. You have a sprint button? Oh, I'm, I don't want to sprint in this game. Kidding me? Yeah, we'll be taking our time this playthrough. I, I hope you don't mind. This game is to be savored. This is, this is not a rushing experience. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service. Ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. That store does not look so hot. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Let's just see this body, shall we? What you're saying, Co, is this game ain't cheap beer, it's a fine wine? Well, I'm not a wine guy, but yes. Now this is the scene of the crime. Let's go with a fine mixed vodka drink. The there we go. Now we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? I see a uh, dangle. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Yep. You unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mine palace. Up allows Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected with A and placed on the board. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goals. You're now free to examine the case board. So if we go to here, Oh. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Oh. Nah. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Okay. Interesting.
The killer left the heart right next to the body. Oh. Wow. Uh, Hiccup and Down says the music at each chapter end was commissioned by Remedy, so there shouldn't be any DMCA for it. Awesome. Fantastic. And also great timing on that. Thank you for the $10 tip to the mod team. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes Interrupted. four murders that we know about. The clues have resolved to open to the uh the clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. You can check the goals by pressing control or Y. Learn more about the victim, learn more about the killers. Okay. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Oh, visit the My Palace does not Lord, pause the game. The oh my. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Chat, was that you? Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Okay. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite a party. <coughs> hmm. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. 13 years? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably know him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Um. Casually dropping that it's an FBI agent that was murdered here? Or later, okay. So there's got to be another clue here somewhere to complete this part. Can we talk to him? There we go. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him. Do you remember Nightingale from the first state. Alan Wake? Oh, but yeah. I ran into yeah. him a few times in Monaco. Never worked any cases together. That's right. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze. Booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Is that when Alan Wake took place? Alan, Alan Wake was, Alan Wake 1 was everything. 2010, right? For now at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Anything okay. clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Interesting that they're... It's so much later that all this is popping up now. Huh. Robert Nightingale. <coughs> Except the eye. Excuse me. Came to Brian <clears throat> 13 years ago. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Great questions. <clears throat> Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. You can use profiling inside Saga's mind place to get inside the heads of suspects and victims. Using her intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. I'm sorry, is profiling talking to the demon inside you? Is that what, is that what profiling, is that how it works? <laughs> is that profiling? Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch, it goes click. Lights are off, but somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. I can feel that Nightingale came from the lake. Up from the lake that's not a lake. Okay. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Huh. Check the lake shore. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh... I'll just wait here. I am very interested to see them explore why she is able to just like come to these conclusions as you facts. Find me. That was a very weird scene. Co really doesn't remember what the Alan Wakes are about. Oh, I do. I'm just curious how she plays into what one did. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Okay, good talk. Nice talking to you, too. area is beautiful
Oh, here's another one of those things right there. Do I have a flashlight? Oh. And those triangle symbols are everywhere, but they're in different configurations. Huh. Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting a volcano or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if that's not true? What if it's something else, something less natural and more man-made, intentional? They say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery, ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake preparing. I know it. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of cool. So maybe there's like a, a physical, real reason to like this whole thing. Not just some, you know, wishy-washy, it's the dark place kind of thing. It's like maybe there's some, some real crazy control-esque artifact down there or something. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Is she insinuating the beginning part of the game? We knocked over the guitar and it made a sound. Nice touch. It's the little things, chat. It's the little things. Did I open that container? Ooh. Oh, nope. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Follow these steps. Wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, and take a nap. Maybe there's a chicken in the fridge or, or oh oh well I don't know about this can't use anything okay so wash your hands is up down that is left right and that one is down up let's take a look at are these numbers i'm, I'm assuming they need numbers right bro who gets a lock made with little signs on them okay all right so first wash your hands was all right Okay, so kind of like up down to the side, wash your hands, and then down up like an hourglass. We'll see, up down to the side, hourglass, left, right. Okay. Up down to the side, hourglass, left, right. Cool. Got us some ammo. Don't wait. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Oh, well, thankfully, I'm dense as wood, so this works. And then we got something else there, too. What's this? Oh, and it's, and it's gone! All right. Applause, if you please. All right. Well, that was a fun little puzzle. Welcome back. Are you an Entco? Well, I try to be entertaining. I'm gonna go. But uh, no, now. 
I am not Be made right of back. wood. Got as it. dense as it. Boo. Nice. So we have to go back. Yeah, this is another campsite down here. Let's see what's down here. Girl, you took your flashlight out, but it's not on. Oh, look. Okay, so here are these things again, which means we might be near a lunchbox. Yep, right there. Cool. So whenever we see those, that's it. UFOs. It hit me in 115 after I finished my ama on the porch of the trailer. I got in the car and drove chasing it. Uh, okay. Absolutely nothing important. Random gibberish. How do you like the knitting, Hero? I had it made just for you. Hmm. Oh, Let's these. have a drink together, buddy. I absolutely will, Greg. Thank you so much. I need to finish my coffee, but let's do it. What time do I usually wake up? When my kids do, between 4.30 and 5.30 every morning. I've got a two-year-old, a four-year-old, and a six-year-old, so... Uh, it's busy in Casa de Carnage in the morning. All right. Have to pay respects. Are you getting sick? Yeah, unfortunately, I've I have the con crud, as you will. Got some lung and nose stuff going on hey, right Casey, now. Hey, Casey, what's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson, just one case without the a triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. Oh, I love it. Is this? Oh, please tell me this is going to be a thing in this game. Hey, look, there he is. Nice. Uh, vanilla, yes, they're all placeholder. Funny enough, um, they've already rescored the uh, Emberville trailer with some new sound effects. Uh, I'll play it later before I wrap up the stream. But um, yeah, yeah, all, all the sound effects in that are, are placeholder. I, I think I mentioned that in the co.tv slash Emberville stuff. By the way, huge thank you to everyone who is already giving feedback on the trailer. Uh, a lot of that has already been given to the team, and they are already making changes based on your feedback. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. We haven't even hit EA, and we're already getting community feedback and implementing it. It's pretty cool. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction, from the lake. Probably oh. looking for shelter, safety. No, no they were waiting for none him. of the sounds are in the trailer on YouTube. I'd love to hear what you put together so far. I'll show you that later. Sure. We're gonna it's focus on this game. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. So we're going down to the lake side right now. What does the circle indicate? I wonder. Oh, just where the body is. Okay. Like you need a reason to skinny dip. I know, right? Yeah, we going skinny dipping? Yeah. Hi. 
good? Wait. Does this just go up? Witch's Hut. What is this? I'll be back in a second. Roger. Ow, ow, stop, stop. Midge told me today that her family is moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and to get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to be in bright effing falls? I told her. She said, thanks. Effing kill me. Ooh. I snuck out last night, went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. I'm going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building and take some photos. It's going to be epic. Ow! I'm sure it will be epic. Yeah. Dude. You won't feel the need to destroy my arm. Ooh. Co fit into bleed soon? Oh, dude, I don't, I don't know if you can see this. This cat has been tearing up my arm, especially since I got home. Just all this, it's like a scratching post, dude. It's like a scratching post. Oh my lord. This cat takes his pound of flesh, just saying. Mm. Yeah, every time he reaches out, he reaches out with his claws. <laughs> a lunchbox again. Oh, hell yeah. Who's leaving these out here? I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. Oh. Also, we got to look that there are no eggs or any type of hint that that lunchbox was there. <clears throat> We're going to have to keep our eyes out. They don't always mark them. I go in the general store? Not yet. Nope. I'm going to, though, before we keep going. Witch's Hut. Here lived the Witch of Cauldron Lake, but where her spirit may still haunt this place. Hmm. The chapters are long? Good. Did we check out that North Point? I think we did. I think we did. Let's just do it. Oh, yeah, that's where we got the first lunchbox. Okay. Okay. Is this a scary game? Uh, it has scary moments. Yes. I'd say it's more of like an immersive, um, an immersive narrative game. But there are absolutely scary flashbacks. elements. Flashbacks. Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. They left a lot of garbage. Not the fastidious type. Okay. 